This right here is probably the coolest gadget on planet Earth. It's amazing. Like, it's mind-blowing. I, I can't believe it. I'm a music producer for 15 years, and something so fun and kind of cool, I've, I've never seen something like this. Today's video actually starts a couple of days ago. Andy, the gear guy, my favorite guy that always brings me new gear, brought me this microphone right here. Andy, the gear guy, has a microphone. Is it special? Yeah, it has a special twist. There's no XLR cable. But yeah, it has like a USB connection. I saw that immediately. <laughs> Should we check it out? Yeah, tell me more about it. Because Andy, like, he was the past days, like, you have to check this out. It's so amazing. And I was like, what is so amazing about it? Tell me. So now, now it's time. Let's maybe grab a chair. Okay, okay, okay. USB B connection on the back. There's there's like a cool sine wave. Those waves are the best waves, as you know. Connect it to the computer. Yeah. Plug it into the USB port. Okay, okay, okay. I already installed some software on your PC. Okay, okay, okay. Because right now I would just imagine it's like a standard mic and instead of an XLR cable, it's just transferring the audio, but that's not... No, that's no. not the thing. Okay, okay. So what's the name? Doubler? Doubler, yes. Doubler, okay. Also, a sine wave. Good wave. Create new profile. Yes, now you need to create a new profile. And just now begins the fun, fun part. Fun part. Let's screen record this so you can also enjoy this software. Hello, hello. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, now you can see there are some parameters. Okay. And if you now press on the plus sign. Plus, yes, uh, drums. Yes, we made a new node. And we can map this node to a key and to a sound you make with your voice. So okay. imagine you do something like a kick drum, like a... Yeah. Uh, you can learn the sounds you make with your voice okay. to a MIDI node. And you can send that MIDI node to Logic, okay, okay, and okay. then you can control whatever you want. This is one functionality. And the second functionality is you can also control parameters, something like cutoff. Okay. If you see, there are some dials in the yeah, upper right yeah. corner. A, 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 E, O, O, right. envelope. Try okay. to make some noises with your mouth and boom, 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 boom. Um, okay. control them. Okay, okay. And then you can also... Manipulate cutoff and frequency and everything you can imagine. Wow, this sounds amazing. I mean, like, as you know, I'm doing like a live setup show right now. This would be actually like, I could like live on stage because yeah. I can't sing and I like not really talented with like my voice, but I could just make weird noises and tell the program to replace the weird noises with a MIDI note and that MIDI note triggers something that is better than my voice. Yes. Okay, okay, let's try and do anything with it, right. Now you make the noise you want to make. Again, again, again. Okay, it has to learn it. Yes, right, four, 10 times, or we'll do it 12 times. Okay, now you can stop training. And if you make the noise, this should light up. Okay, maybe not the most consistent sound. <laughs> let's, let's try it again, really quick. Let's see if it works. You can see which node is triggered now, right here. And it should work if you go into your door now. You know how to beatbox? No. The old pizza katze? Huh? Pizza katze. Pizza cat. Right. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, new logic project. Empty project. Should trigger C1. Yeah, C1. Let's change it maybe to synth. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Okay, 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 okay. This is wild. Let's do the second note. Wait, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Plus, drums, minus, train. No, let's see, C sharp one, okay. Let's just start. Well, let's see what we did wrong. Oh, 
Oh. There was one special thing where you needed to click on the screen. You also need to change of controls or it's automatically Hello. mapped to something. That's so cool. Like my one note and another note. I could do this like 24 7. Do you have something like a drum kit on your laptop? Yeah. Octave up. Wow. Okay, okay. Like, like throw away your MIDI keyboard. <laughs> Is this the new shit? Yeah. <laughs> You don't have to learn, like, that's actually, like, the better instrument, if you think about it. Like, learning how to play the piano is very awkward, and it's not meant to be because your fingers are not like, but voice translating into notes is actually, that's good. I think you changed the first sound to C sharp uh, D1. Yeah, 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 let's change it back. Now I can learn a third sound. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, give me one week. Okay. Or just one day. I will now spend 24-7 on this <laughs> and try to try to come up with some some shit. You can also clap, like any sound. You can, yeah. You could fart sure. and make a song. <laughs> yeah, you could. Okay, okay. <laughs> but, but don't let me see you in one week with no, no, farting. No, 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 no. Don't worry. <laughs> So yeah, I played around a little with it. It has the, the normal function where you just map MIDI to sounds that you record. That's really cool. So right now we just have like something simple. I love it, absolutely love it. It's a little hard to explain, but like the complex mode, it controls the pitch. So if I pitch up my voice or down or up, it pitches the synth like up and down. And depending on the consonant I'm using, A, E, O, it controls the cutoff. So you can control pitch and another parameter. Right now it's mapped to the cutoff. You could map it to anything else. Uh, yeah, with O it's like the closest, like the cutoff is closer. It's amazing, it's fun, man. I, I, I wish I could see this in the hands of a beatboxer or someone that can actually really sing and control their pitch. This in a live setup scenario as like an addition for people doing like uh, loop station, live stuff in front of a crowd. It's amazing. It's really amazing. Like anyone with this can instantly beatbox perfectly and make your human sounds sound like real drums, electronic drums, like a synthesizer, anything is possible. The only thing that just doesn't work, but it's in the nature of the entire system, you can play two sounds at the same time because your voice, like, it, it just doesn't work. But you could get multiple of these and have two or three people do, like, in harmony synthesizers by their voice, one the drums by beatboxing. That's fun. It's fun. Definitely for live performance, but also for the studio. I had a whole lot of fun. We'll probably keep on using it. It's a, like a very creative tool to also sometimes just do some random stuff. If you're interested in this, um, a suggestion by Andy the Gear Guy, down below it's linked, just go check it out. There, there's more to it. There are even chords you can have, auto key detection. You can map anything to everything and it just works. You just install it, open it up and your dog gets the MIDI sent there. You don't have to wire anything or install anything else, it just works. So yeah, thanks all for watching. Let me know in the comments if that's something you would like to check out, if you like the concept, if that's interesting. And tomorrow, back here in the studio, another video. Thanks.